I have used gabapentin for all five of the uses listed in this article, which include neuropathic pain from things like IBDD, breakthrough pain from like you see in cases of severe trauma, and uh, pain that's associated with things like cancer or osteoarthritis. But on a day-to-day -day basis, the most important thing that I use it for is uh, preclinic sedation. I use it for that purpose every single day, and for cats and dogs alike, it's revolutionized the way that I practice by making appointments with difficult or fractious patients a little bit easier, or sometimes a lot easier. The result is less stress for the patient, for the owner, and for the whole veterinary team. It also pairs very nicely with trazodone, when gabapentin isn't strong enough. I like to call that combination gabatraz. Another great tidbit that I learned from the article is that gabapentin is cleared by the kidneys and patients in renal failure sometimes experience excessive sedation or can even develop hypotension if they're given gabapentin. <laughs>